Now, I want you just for a moment to look into my eyes. Not around the eyes, but look into my eyes. Our guest tonight is Nikki Creel. She's talking about NLP and the power of words. In fact, she says it's all in the eyes. In fact, it's all in the eyes. It's all in the words that you use. In fact, it's in your complete body posture as well. NLP is something we all do inadvertently. We don't realize we do it. But how do you harness the power of NLP in the business world? When I learned how to do NLP, I actually thought, okay, I'm going to learn this skill and I'm then going to use it, you know, sort of to do a business. And I didn't actually think of the personal development side that I would get. I just hadn't crossed my mind. It was something I was going to learn and then do to other people rather than actually developing yourself. And one thing as an entrepreneur or business person, your state of mind is so important for being successful in business because if you're feeling down and you can't pick up the phone you're not going to get any business generally you you're not that aware of your body language so you do it subconsciously um, and you can almost tell when somebody's got an issue they're almost holding themselves in a different way or your shoulders will come in and I know somebody was watching me and I was actually making myself smaller and he said you need to watch the program and it's this fabulous TED talk that I'm going to recommend which is Amy Cuddy and she talks about using your body language and how changing your body language it's it's like change uh, changing it actually makes a difference to the way you feel you pick up things whether it's conscious or unconscious so quite often if somebody says something and their tone is not right so even though they might be saying the right words you pick up that they don't actually mean what they say well I think the first thing is to to acknowledge a person and get to where they are at. So if they're having a really bad day, acknowledge that they're having a bad day. There's nothing worse than if you're feeling really down and somebody goes in, yes, life is exciting, it's wonderful. You have to actually be almost in a worse mood because they're not paying attention to you. So you almost need to match where the, that person is, but obviously you don't want to You don't subside. want to go all the way down. No, you've got to pull them up a wee yeah, bit. you've yes. got to pull them up a little bit. If you're selling a car, <laughs> not a car salesperson. If somebody talks about seeing, you would then show them the car. If they're talking about sound, if they're auditory, you might rev up the engine or let, you know switch on the engine so they can actually hear the sound of the engine. And obviously, if they're kinesthetic, you might talk about the leather seats. Feel this. Feel the yeah. Imagine feel the leather. How that, yeah. Now it's interesting. And take it for a drive, so you actually have so the feeling. Got a feel of it. Of it. In fact, if, you, if you're feeling, I think it's noticing your body because quite often you're unaware of what your body's doing. And simple things like pulling your shoulders back and making you, yourself bigger, um, things like Is power. Is that threatening? What happens when people win races? They do that. They do that automatically. So they're either like that or that's an automatic reaction. Even blind people do this. Mm -hmm. And if you stand like this for a while, just even 30 seconds to a minute, you actually feel more powerful by doing that. So just changing your position can actually make you feel different. I like that, she'll remember that. So that's <laughs> that's making true. ourselves feel bigger. Some of us are bigger <laughs> already. Um, <laughs> so don't, don't need to do that. We're too big as it is. Uh, and what about, is one, yes, it's the one to make you smaller? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also n like noticing because and trying out different body positions because some people naturally are quite Sounds laid back. back. Yeah. And sometimes by trying a different position, you actually puts you in a different state of mind. No and it's worth testing out different positions. Other people tend to be upright. I tend to, I'm quite a visual person and I tend to have my head up. I talk quite quickly. People can- You lead with your chin. Yeah, <laughs> I lead with my chin. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas some people are very quiet and tend to, to speak slowly. And it's worth getting into somebody else's shoes to actually experience the world. Well, with NLP, I think the main thing is to, to remember that your mindset affects how effective you are in business and really about you want to develop relationships with people and the more you can develop yourself as a person and think of the other person and put yourself in their, their shoes, it, it will help with relationships. And questions are really powerful if you ask the right ones. You get a lot of information from people when you do that.